You got a bit of a wrist, actually. Did I? Oh, thank you. That is just so nice. It's the nicest thing you've ever done to me. Yeah, yeah you wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lord Karner. <laughs> He's a famous rapper and um, big fan of Ottolenghi. Keen cook. <laughs> and he's got a song called Ottolenghi, and that's kind of the reason why I'm here. And this is Ottolenghi, who I'm a big fan of. Incredible chef, lovely person. And we're um, going to do uh, three festive, Christmassy, vegetable focused dishes mm -hmm. to delight yeah. and feed to shake up your Christmas. <laughs> and I'm going to eat a carrot. You eat a carrot. Uh, I'm going to cook for Loyal. Uh, well, we're going to cook together, right? Yeah. Um, roasted carrots with um, harissa and pomegranates. So um, I've got uh, harissa, um, some melted butter, some honey, some salt, and some oil, and some caraway seeds. Do you use caraway seeds? Yeah, they're yeah. supposed to be really good for you as well, so I'll try and get them in. Um, so if you can just put a little bit of everything, so like two, tables, two tablespoons of harissa, uh -huh. drop of honey, all that butter, everything in the bowl, and I'll yeah. quickly prepare the carrots. Cool. And, yes, chef. Uh, yeah, you wee chef. A wee chef. Yeah. For you. Yeah. yeah. So how do you, how do you make harissa? Homemade harissa. So homemade harissa. Well, there's all sorts of recipes. How much like tablespoon? How much honey? Uh, just to kind of a squeeze. Okay. Not too much. That still yep. looks good. Um, so harissa you can normally you can make either with fresh chilies or with um, but mostly if you go okay, I went to Tunisia a few years ago and I've just seen how they make it so they use rehydrated chilies. Okay. And what they, chili is it? Is it like a particular? It's chili? a so okay. you, there's a lot so you want quite hot ones but each one uses their own but over there mm -hmm. uh, they're dried yep. and then then they rehydrate in the water mm -hmm. and they uh, mince them like beef, like in a beef mincer yeah, with yeah, like a human meat seeds, like yeah, a meat yeah, grinder. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And uh, you get that really nice texture. Is that enough oil or do you want more oil? I think you can put a little bit more yeah, oil cool. and a bit of butter. Mm -hmm. So butter, oil, yeah. caraway seeds. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm using these carrots. It's always so, nice to have a little you. bit of the stem on your carrots. Mm -hmm. See that is mixed together. I'll give you, I'll just cut quickly some more. Mm -hmm. But you can just use normal baby carrots, which yeah. you can just put in whole, yeah. uh, which is also super cool. So yeah, so what, so what, because how many, I don't know, I've always, I really do want to make it, but how do I dry it out at home? No, you would buy dried chilies. Okay. Uh, you can use Mexican. Uh, uh, ancho, is that ancho You chilies? could use anchos, but I think anchos will have too much smokiness. Okay, okay. cool. Not anchos. Uh, <laughs> you're into your <laughs> anchos. Yeah. yeah, I do, I like them. <laughs> But, um, They're kind of sweet though. Yeah, they are. I would use something that has a little bit less smokiness because harissa is not so smoky. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it's quite spicy as well. well not, it depends which chilies you use. Yeah, and yeah. then you, you want to use cumin mm -hmm. and some garlic is also often goes into it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, but you can also use harissa. You can use fresh chilies to make harissa as well. Uh, so don't use, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I love that. Hold the carrot. I'll give you some more carrots. You're very meticulous. Look how you kept all the stems in the thing. Well done. I oh know. Thank you so much. I'll try. <laughs> Trying to get a job at um, Rovi. <laughs> or no tea. You have to come for a job trial. Yeah. Really? Make Me? sure that. Yeah, yeah, even Why? you. Even you. Because I don't know how good you are. Yeah. I mean, you're good you're, at keeping all the stems you know, <laughs> facing the one, one side. You're, and you're, it. you're good at tossing balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> Been said before. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think maybe you will get a job. We'll see. I hope so. We'll know at the end, by the end of this. I hope so so I this is all about like bringing out the sweetness. Of the so, so this works so well because the carrots are sweet and this is spicy. Mm -hmm. And okay. all those kind of North African flavors work really well together. Yeah. Uh, so now all you need to do is spread this on this tray. Okay. And uh, we're ready to go. So did you put salt in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can put some. I can always have more a little bit more salt. I'll get in trouble for salt. You know, I used to watch when I was younger. I used to watch um, Rick Stein on, on TV. And yeah. He always put so much salt on everything. He was my favourite. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, could you have a bit more salt? Mmm. Mm. It's good, isn't it? We even need to cook them. You don't need to cook them. You want? <laughs> <laughs> They're wicked. 
It's so crunchy. It has licked my fingers. Hmm? Wipe me you're, not, you're not supposed to do that, You right? can wipe on my jump if you want. It's cool, you're okay. clean. I'm sure there's people out there who would enjoy food more if you licked it. Sorry? I reckon if you went to your restaurant and you served it out, you're like, but I licked my fingers before I served it, people would pay extra. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. I would. When I went to culinary school, my teacher told me that I licked my fingers too often. Where did you go to culinary school? And I took a few courses at Cordon Bleu here in London. Yeah. And the pastry chef said, oh, you're not allowed to lick your fingers. Why? You're just going to get you nowhere. Pastry you chef? Fingers. Yeah. Look at you now. Because you know nowhere. you've got all these batters. They're so uh -huh. empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Raw that's... Eggs, you can just throw yeah. those. Come on, I'm trying to be meticulous. I know, you, yeah, but you know, we don't have a whole day. <laughs> um, so you actually want to spread them out quite, you know, evenly. Evenly. No, oh, no, oh. but also, no, you know, you know, I mean, you want to spread them out so they don't stew, you know, so they okay, roast okay, properly. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so that's yeah, why I'm hard on you. Um, so that goes in the oven uh -huh. at like 2.30, 2.40 for about 25 minutes. Thank you. There you go, that's going to stay there forever. Um, that's it, and now we're just, we're just really kind of waiting. Is that it? So if you can sing more songs, <laughs> that would be useful. What do we do, what do, we do now? Um, hang out. A few months ago, you sent me a cheeky email saying you're going to use my name in our, your next video. Yeah. I, I, um, how did that happen? Wait, Joe, I actually wasn't sure if you'd let me do it. That was the only, the only reason I messaged you about it, because I thought you'd sue me. <laughs> no, um, I don't uh, know, for yeah. For that trade mic. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, it came about, so I was on a, um, I was on a train um, on the way to the studio, and I was reading um, your book, Jerusalem, and there were these guys sat, so if I was sat here, there were some people sat over there, like these two, um, kind of like, I don't know, whatever, doesn't, they don't matter. But anyways, they started having to go at me, because, because the book is labelled Jerusalem, they were asking me what Bible it was, and how, how dare I read that on the train. And I was like, it's not... Oh, really? Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, it's serious, yeah, they were talking about Palestine, I was like, look, really, I'm, I'm just trying to read my book. Um, and they said, what Bible is it, how can you read it? And I said, it's, it's not a Bible. It's a cookbook. And then I said, well, it is a Bible of sorts. I mean, it's, like, it's my Bible, but it's not. Um, because food yeah. is so, yeah. means so much yeah, to you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So then, yeah, they got up and got off the train. Um, and then later on, this, this girl and her mum got on the train. And um, they were talking, the girl was saying, it was raining outside. And the girl was saying, mum, is the sun ever going to come back? She thought the sun was gone forever. Um, so I got to the so studio, nice. I told Jordan the story, and then we made the tune. And then I named it after you, because yeah, it, yeah. it was funny, actually, because Jordan couldn't pronounce your name for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. can't. Yeah. But yeah, that was, that was it really. But then I guess we hung out. Where did we hang out first? Oh, yeah, yeah, at a, at a, at a video, at a music video. video. So, uh, I, um, so I got this email and everybody at my test kitchen got really excited because yeah. I've never been asked, been in the, yeah. you know, in a rap video, in a rap rap video song, yeah. or but it's, that's re the thing remotely, yeah, yeah, no, no. Something, anything remotely Close related to, rap, to that. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, oh, cool, cool, that's amazing. And yeah. having a rap song, yeah, yeah. Do, well, that, that was yeah, nice. Yeah. And then you asked me to do like a yeah. Hitchcock moment. Yeah, in the yeah, video. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just a cameo. <laughs> it's true though, John, I was really worried about it though. Because obviously as much as everyone will be talking about it, it's, it wasn't like, it's not like an actual rap video. Do you know what I mean? I thought you were going to come yeah. and there'd be like a line on a chain, big car. <laughs> but yeah, there was none of that. But it was good. Actually, it was heartbreaking. I don't, what was I was saying to you before we started doing this. So yeah, when you got so... The power cut, I don't know if anyone knew about it, Tom knows about it. So the power cut out. Yeah. So when, when, when the video started, it was supposed to start at nine o'clock and you were getting there for like 12, one o'clock. Yeah. And um, they got to nine and the power of the whole warehouse cut. And um, I was mortified. And so it, it, they said they're gonna bring another generator and it got to 10, then 12, 10, 11, 12. And then by the time I got to one and you were arriving, there was no power and there wasn't gonna be power till like six o'clock. And someone told me that you were yeah. there and I hid under and the I table. And I was, you hid under the yeah, table. I hid, I was like this. And then <laughs> you, cause you came in and someone came in, you came in, you came into the room and um, you're like, oh, um, your time's here. And I was like, cool. <laughs> Not saying anything, I was like, where's Ben? I was <laughs> this is why you kind of, I didn't see you for a couple of yeah, hours. Yeah, that, yeah, you that's, were under yeah, the table. Yeah, it was. It was kind of cold and we were waiting and I was yeah. like, when is the bloody generator going to yeah. come to I'm life? Sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, you did a good job. But it was interesting. Yeah, it was. It was good fun. And I've never been on a music video. Yeah. Ever? No, well, really? that's not weird, is it? I guess not. It is quite <laughs> weird though. It, in your world. Yeah, in my world. Yeah, in, my... in my world, you're a superstar though. I feel like you should have been in loads. <laughs> I'm glad I got in there first. Maybe the first chef that's ever been in any... Well, at the end of every music video, but I doubt that. Yeah, I'm if you sure want to be in, We've got two more to do, actually, if you want to yeah. be in those, yeah. Just, like, come and spend... But you get the generator working on, I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick those carrots out, because yeah. otherwise they're going to burn. Oh, that looks so great, doesn't it? Look at this. So I'll put it here. Wow. So beautiful. It's like Harissa. I just want to take one. Intense. You can take one. Yeah, but watch my... your fingers. Um, I've got a nice serving bowl. 
Ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're so good. <laughs> Did your mom not tell you not to eat things while they're oh, still they're hot? Oh, they're so good. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, um... Oh, they're really good. They're really, 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 good. really hot. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's take yeah, this. This. Is, this is my one. This is your one. And... And I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice mm -hmm. at the end because, I mean, you could put it before, but it's all that kind of extra freshness yeah, yeah, yeah. always helps. A bit of coriander. Are you a coriander fan? Yeah. You have to be. Yeah, I love coriander. And it's grown on me as I've grown as I remember yeah, when I was know, younger, well, yeah, I didn't like it. It's amazing. Mm. I was the same. Like, my yeah. mom used to put coriander on yeah. things and I used to say, to, you know, I'd tell her not to, but mm. I'd really love it. So the idea is that you just kind of stir it very gently. With this one? And Get that one out of the way. Yeah, we don't want that one. We need that one. And literally, a few of those oh. pomegranate seeds. I didn't even see those. You don't have to have them, but they're kind of nice. Just mm -hmm. add a little bit of that. So this is perfect Christmas. Mm -hmm. It is. Food, isn't it? Yeah. Nice plate as well. Nice plate. Yeah, good plate. Leaves a lot of room for, mm -hmm. you know, I like, like being generous when I plate, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. something. Could double that, but mm. it's, it's nice, isn't it? Um, and then, are you Don't forget. pouring the so? And what is actually? We've got all these beautiful tops. It's really nice to use them, even if they, you know, yeah. they're like carrot tops. They're so beautiful. Yeah, for sure. What the nice kind of like the light a little bit. Just they've got beautiful. They're like chervil, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And you throw them. How do they taste? Can I try them? They don't have massive. They don't have much flavor, but they do have a bit of flavor. Hmm. But it's just a nice mm. thing to add there. Show me how you did it. All right. Okay, you pass. You pass. Yeah? You pass. Um, so that's the roasted carrots with the pomegranate and harissa. Perfect. You can make that for Christmas. As a matter of fact, everything can be made for Christmas. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I'm definitely making that for Christmas. Yeah. And I'm probably going to make what we're making next for Christmas. And you know what this is? Slightly bitter. Slightly bitter. The yeah. lemon. Yeah. Because all the recipes are from simple. I'm going to do this now. Like you Take it out. Yeah, hide under Get the it table. out. My favorite. Yeah. I've got one of these. <laughs> I've got one as a present. And, um, that's so I've, my life is a lemon, as a lemon, and yeah, is a lemon. Because you're a bit bitter. Yeah, a little bit bitter, slightly mm. bitter. And um, so all the recipes that we're cooking are actually from the book. You've seen it here. I mean, I've already read this book, but I can pretend <laughs> I haven't. Oh, wow. <laughs> Simple. <laughs>
delicate um, stems yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. just throw those Well, this is the thing, because I've got time in my garden, but I was reading that when it comes to winter, they get a bit tougher, so you can't use the stalks. Yeah. You can only really use the stalks in the summer. You, you just judge, like, when you get... If you yeah. can eat through the stalk, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then you can use it. Okay, but cool. if not, you just pick the leaves out. Okay. And then it's just a case of turning it into this kind of incredible... Some paste. Uh, no, I don't need oil because you know those garlic, this yeah, garlic, okay, you see okay, what you happens? Turn paste, okay. Yeah, it turns into a really wow. lovely paste. I mean, if you don't have a pestle and mortar, you can use a food processor, yeah, but it's yeah, really yeah. nice too. Yeah, you must good. have. You yeah, must I do. Have, I do. Yeah. Big one. Big one? Yeah, the big, yeah, we've got this big, like, kind of, I, I don't know, I kind of like it. See when it's a bit rough at the bottom? Yeah. So you can kind of catch, because yeah. otherwise if it's smooth, you don't get the... Yeah, no, that's true, actually. Yeah. That, but look how nice is that. Yeah, I mean, you can even try it. Wow. It's really good and intense, isn't it? Yeah, but it really tastes like garlic, but it's just not sharp. It's just got the sweetness of garlic, mm. but mm -hmm. without the accent. Without, yeah, without, yeah, without yeah. the rest. Yeah, so it's super cool. Mm. And this just waits while um, the Brussels sprouts are are cooking. Cool. I don't know, are you a Brussels sprout fan? I like Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Yeah, I do this thing with, with Brussels tops I was telling you before. That kind of, I don't know, kind of used the whole thing because when I was younger, that was my job was peeling the Brussels sprouts and taking oh, yeah. the tops. And it always looks like such a waste because when you get fresh Brussels, Brussels sprouts, you have just all those bunches of loads and loads of leaves that end up going in the food. Yeah. Nest. So I just like to use those as well. So what, do, really you do, like Brussels, what do you do with them? Um, just mix them with, I've been trying to do it recently, so you just um, kind of saute them like, quite gently, I guess, with olive oil, salt, and then when they're, um, when they're kind of wilting, take them out and mix them with some Dijon mustard and a bit of like sherry vinegar and yeah, then sprinkle delicious. some like, breadcrumbs over it. I've been using this thing recently, you know, like, a, like a kind of horrible cheese roll, like a cheesy roll. <laughs> if you take that and put it in the oven, kind of dice it up, it becomes like these kind of cheesy breadcrumbs. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. A little bit of olive oil. It's a cheat. Yeah, I, I just think that like, the Brussels sprouts thing is just such a conundrum, because yeah. people There's don't nonsense. like it because they, they have had it like yeah. super boiled. Yeah, of course, you know, of course, yeah, yeah, like but, yeah, but really bitter. Really yeah, bitter, yeah, yeah, but yeah. when you roast them the way no, we do, they're delicious. here now, yeah. it's just so good. Um, what else goes? So this is going to they mix in with this. So, this so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take um, this pan uh -huh. and it's got a bit of butter mm -hmm. and I'm going to burn the butter so it goes like nutty brown. Okay. And then the sprouts will go inside yep. with this, okay. with those, uh, with those. Uh, sunflower seeds. My favorite. And Not sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Cool. Um, so. So this, the, this is going in the pan as well with the butter? Or? Yeah, okay. so all this goes in the pan. Mm -hmm. I just need something to scra scrape my mm -hmm. uh, sauce out. Paste. Yeah, scrape this out. Scrape the paste. This comes in. Yep, and all then. of those. All of those. So, but and now I'm just burning the butter. So you, you want to get yep. it kind of nice and brown. Yeah, burning it, actually burning it. Yeah, you kind of burn, you know, this uh, butter has those solids, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. which at this, you know, at this temperature, they start to go all brown and nutty, uh -huh. and that's what, why it's so yeah, delicious. Because I've always been scared of burning butter whenever I oh, yeah? butter. I watch and keep it, I've always been told to keep it this colour. No, no, it that's darker. not good enough. No? No, you need to... Seriously? It, yeah, yeah, you need to go a bit further. It needs to get a bit more colour. Look at the colour. What I'm going to do, I'm going to so, take so. the Brussels. So those will go in there. Wow! You know, Brussels sprouts are actually really nice raw. Yeah? So I'm just scra scraping all the beautiful garlicky paste straight in here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful flavor gold. Savory chocolate. Yeah, it really is. And then um, those seeds. Yeah, yeah. pumpkin seeds. The pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. Now you just, just want to spread all that yeah, garlic yeah, yeah, all over. Break down. Mm, delicious. This is kind of it, really. Mm -hmm. So, shall we plate it? Yeah. And I'll do the, um, the lemon juice now, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. this is kind of the last yeah. minute. Smells amazing, right? As soon as my mom sees this, she's going to be like, you have to make your mom and the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the nice thing about Christmas food. So you can do things that are like, you know, everybody says Christmas food is really traditional. And yeah, you want to keep it traditional, but yeah, you're just a <laughs> cheeky monkey, aren't you? <laughs> mm. I know mm. why you're eating it now. Because I'm going to put tahini on it. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's good for Christmas. It's easy as well. It's not. It's it's roasted, easy. Anything that's roasted, I find, once you've got you know enough space in the oven, if you can just put loads of different things on different levels, it's just timing. Yeah, also, have all ready to go. If you think about it, you can 
pre-roast your Brussels yeah. sprouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have, have them ready to go in the have pan. Have them ready like, to yeah, go yeah, in the pan. Hey. Make your black paste. Yeah, yeah, have it and when you serve, <coughs> you just yeah. throw it all yeah, in yeah, one yeah, pan. Yeah. But also what we did in the pan, now you can do in the oven. Mm -hmm. Like you can just okay, take the paste. Okay, yeah, take the paste, mix it around. Take some butter and just throw it in the oven. Yeah. And it's just such I a guess so yeah, if you mix the paste with the butter, it would just melt into the pan. Yeah. It? It's good, huh? So good. So I'll just pretend I'm doing it. I won't no. do it. Don't worry, don't worry. No, no, I'll no. just So what happens now yeah, yeah, yeah. for normal people that can, <laughs> that can eat sesame seeds <laughs> is you do it all this beautiful tahini and nutty. But for you, yeah. if you want to get that some of that kind of nutty flavor, yeah. you were talking about though no, there is pumpkin seeds here. Yeah. And you can buy pumpkin seeds paste. Really? Yeah, so it's kind of, like, kind of the same yeah, thing? Yeah, kind of the same thing yeah. uh, in health food shops. Like, Seriously? Oh, yeah, you can get pumpkin seed paste. And that would be something you can add in here or kind of toss through. Don't cry. It changed my life. I really had no <laughs> idea it existed. Yeah. It means I can have a... Yeah. Something keen to that. You really? can put it on if you really want. It's hard. So that's done. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to do the burrata mm -hmm. with grilled grapes. Mm -hmm. So with the, what you do for me is not yeah. eat the grapes, eat the grape. but put, not eat the grapes, pick, pick the grapes. Yep. And I'm skipping a stage here now. So mm -hmm. this has got cherry vinegar, brown sugar, fennel seeds and garlic crushed. Yep. Crushed what? And and just, oh, just, mix just crushed and smell it. Ooh. It's nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like cherry vinegar, yeah, good yeah, cherry yeah, vinegar yeah. is just so good. Not too much. All the spino. Cool. And then I throw it all in here, mm -hmm. or there, with your grapes. Yep. And then we'll, you know, you, you call it marinating. It's not, I mean, it's not like you're going to marinate grapes, because grapes, they're yeah. not going to absorb the flavor. But what yeah. it does, it's kind of, it Colors clings to, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, thing. Okay. And then you can also use these juices yep. to dress the, 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 the mm -hmm. cheese in a minute. As I said, sherry vinegar, brown mm -hmm. sugar, fennel seeds, mm -hmm. and some salt uh, and garlic. Yeah. And now we're just going to make these like kind of beautiful little skewers. Yeah. And you love burrata. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. It's it's got a really short kind of shelf life, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. More than a couple of days. You can put them close together. Okay, cool. Like five. Okay. And I'm going to just start putting them on the grill. I hope it's yes, hot enough. Yes, chef. And this is the one thing that I absolutely love because you get. So you get like that yeah. smokiness. The sun is out. For us, the sun is shining for so us. So this is going to, you know, this is just, you want, this is beautiful stuff mm. that you go, go over the grapes okay, as, okay, soon, okay, as okay. soon as the... So what's in that? It's brown sugar. Brown sugar, garlic, sherry vinegar, garlic, garlic and fennel seeds. Cool. And it's delicious. And a bit of oil, I believe. Mm. What are you guys going to do for Christmas? How do you celebrate Christmas? Um, do you been, yeah, I do celebrate Christmas. It's been quite a quiet thing for me for the last years, just because my family's got smaller and smaller over the years. But this is the first Christmas where we've got everyone, like my missus' family's coming, my family's going to be there, my aunties and uncles. It's like the first Christmas we've had for a long oh, time. That's nice. Well, it's going to be loads of people because I think that's how it's supposed to be. Even if you don't celebrate it, because everyone gets the time off. Yeah. Just to be around. Um, I, I feel the good. same. That the idea that it really doesn't matter what you do, but mm. everybody is together. Is together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how beautiful they look. Uh, so. So we've got the, you know, the smoke is really, really great here. And that goes on top. It's just like, because sweetness and richness and smokiness oh. all together. Just a little bit of salt on it. Yeah. Because salt always helps. Mm -hmm. And basil works really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's another kind of fennelly, mm -hmm. beautiful flavor. And a little bit of um, olive oil. That's just for the look. But this, this is the thing that I think would be the best for Christmas because it's different instead of the prawn cocktail. Yeah, we don't eat really prawn cocktail this year. Yeah, <laughs> the Do you want to try? Yes, please. You go, you go for in? it. In? Yeah, in, in, in. And then we'll get all the okay. juiciness out. <laughs> and then take a nice big healthy bit. Yeah, with, with the grapes. With the grapes. And all the trimmings, all the sauce. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Like the warmth of the grapes. Yeah. Wow. The smokiness. Yeah. I came here to impress you. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh my God. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm just going to have to eat them mm. all.